Hi guys, today we are flying the most exciting setup in the Odyssey because uh, I've made the strongest EDF ever in my life and it is 16 kilowatts, which is approximately 260-280 amps on 16S. Of course we are flying on Jetfan 130 because this is the only drive I have that is capable of withstanding this huge power. I already flew a few flights on this setup and it's amazing. The sound is unbelievable. The speed is way above 300 km per hour, but you will see. And the plane is not that really heavy because uh, although the flight is short, but we're flying on graphene batteries, which are more like capacitors. They give a lot of power. Uh, but of course, to keep the weight low, I have to have very small capacity. So we're flying on 16S, uh, 8,000 milliampere hours, which is nothing for this power. But uh, if I flew on Leons, the plane would be six kilograms heavier because Leons are much heavier and they're very good for long flights, like 10 minutes flight. But today we're flying very short, maybe three minutes, but super, super exciting and super thrilling. Okay. So let's see how it goes. We're going straight up to clock some speed. I have to cool the motor occasionally because it's a little bit overpowered. <laughs> The ESC I have 20 S ES, ESC with 400 amp peak, so it's safe. The motor not so much. 2,996 milliamp hours. 256 meters. 283 meters. like it's going forever. <laughs> of course it's going forever because with full battery we have 18 kilograms of thrust so, and the plane is 13 kilograms heavy. Five thousand five hundred and ninety-five million hours. The battery is almost gone.
flaps half, fast and flat. So this will be the shortest video of all flying videos <laughs> from my jets because we have only one set of batteries for this flight, but it was super exciting. Uh, it's cold today, so the batteries got cold because we were, you know, recording the talk and all the preparations. So today was a little bit slower than yesterday and with a little bit less power. But anyways, I will give you the flight data. At takeoff, we had 14.7 kilowatts, so it's almost 15 kilowatts, which is nice. Yesterday we had 16. Uh, 249 amps maximum. Yesterday was, was 265, I think. And the top speed today with the very good German GPS was... 342 kilometers per hour. 342 kilometers per hour. And we were not diving so steep. I was, uh, it was average, but you could see this long, low passes, very fast. I believe that we were going just above the ground 300, 320 kilometers per hour. It was super fast. So very exciting. Unfortunately, the price is very short flight because it was about three and a half minutes. So two, two steep dives and that's it. I had to land, uh, but it was worth it because it's very, very exciting. So I hope you enjoyed this setup. Uh, ah, one more thing. Some of you guys were asking for, uh, for interior of, of this, the setup of the, you wanted to see how the plane looks inside. So I will show you now before we finish, I will open the both hatches. And here you can see inside we have eight graphene batteries. Yeah, these batteries are 4,000 milliampere hours 4S. So we have uh, connected four in series, which is giving 16S, and then two packs like two sets like this in parallel, which is giving 8,000 milliampere hours. Of course, graphene batteries are cold, not so warm after the flight because they are very low resistance. So even though they were giving 130 amps at takeoff, uh, it's not a problem for them. Here I have very nice thing which is, I believe this is the coolest BEC circuit on the market. This is from uh, Hobbywing. And this is 18S BEC, 18S, 25 amps constant, 50 amps in burst. And it's super nice with redundancy, of course. So I can connect redundancy battery. This small battery, it's a 2S350. It's enough for me to make uh, one flight on this jet, but of course it's only as a redundancy battery. So when this BSC fails, then I can land safely on this battery. So this is really cool. Here, a very nice receiver from FRSky, the SR10 Pro with stabilization. So you can see I move it and, uh, and uh, everything reacts. And the reception of the signal is is outstanding, so I'm using only one receiver and it's good enough, even though this huge power. Uh, here, the control box for uh, JP Hobby ER120 landing gear. I'm using 120 from uh, uh, Sebart Avanti XS, the 1.9 meter Sebart Avanti. It's perfect fit for this jet. Here is uh, this GPS logger from SM Model Bau from Germany. I love this GPS, it's very precise. It's super easy to set up and it works with all uh, radio systems. So of course with FRSky as well. So what we have next? Underneath we have, we have um, FRSky current sensor and uh, also integrated with voltage sensor. And I tweaked it. You can see it on my previous videos, I tweaked it so it reads up to 500 amps. But this is all in my previous videos. If you want to know more, check out the previous videos. And now the, the heart, now the heart of the plane is the EDF. This is Jetfan 130, super strong EDF, very efficient, uh, very quiet, super jet sound. And this is my uh, latest design. It's a lip, intake lip that it's 
smooth from every side, which makes it possible to suck air also from behind. The air is, the air is lamin laminarly flowing around it and going into the EDF. And of course, of course, the ESC, which is the second heart. This one is amazing ESC. It's called the uh, Flyer model from China. And this is 20S 400 amps ESC, super strong. It's not even getting warm when I'm flying. It's very nice. Uh, inside I'm flying on super light servos. I cannot show it to you, unfortunately, because uh, they are hidden. But these servos are 20 gram mi micro servos. So they're so small uh, from uh, uh, King Tech. Oh, I don't know. It will be. It will be in the description, the, the name of the servos, but they're very small, 20 gram servos, 10.5 kilograms at 8 volts, so super strong, but of course I'm saving weight on everything. Uh, and what is very important, I've hidden all the servo horns and servo linkages uh, inside the wing, like in the real airplane, so the wings from underneath are completely clean, there is nothing, no obstruction for airflow. You can see there's just a landing gear and nothing. It's completely clean. So that's why the plane wants to fly so fast. Uh, I think the fastest it flew was two days ago on this setup, 267, 200, 367, yeah. Three, almost 370 kilometers per hour with this GPS. Very exciting, okay. Too much talking. It's enough talking for this video. Thank you so much. And I don't know what's going to be the next project, but I, I hope it will be exciting as this one. See you soon. Bye bye.